friends and welcome to Little Woods Art. Today I am going to show you how to make these beautiful watercolor dragonflies. Also, I would like to start out by sharing one tip that will help your paintings be a lot better. And that secret thing to know is brushes. If you notice, I use a very basic set that a lot of schools um, use with kids. And in those sets, um, paint brushes. Now if you look at these brushes you can see especially on this one the tip is very flat. So what happens when you have a flat tip is you get a very broad painting stroke. So flat tips are very good for acrylic paint but with watercolor what you might want to do is invest in a tip like this. So you should be able to see the difference there. And these watercolor brushes have a um, softer bristle. So let's see if we can see the difference. You can make a much straighter line. You can have it more defined. The paint comes off it much better. So my recommendation, if you have these sets at home, that's fine, the colors are great, but you may want to just go and spend a dollar and get a brush with a tip on it. You can get it at any store and it will really improve your paintings. Okay, let's get started. We are going to make these beautiful dragonflies. So what you'll need is some paper, a pencil. If you want to use a marker to trace it before you paint it, you can, or you can just use the pencil and paints. So let's get started. All right, the first thing I want to say is it's best um, to think of your composition. Odd numbers are better in paintings, and you want to have some different directions. You don't want everything to look the same. So these dragonflies are going to go in three different directions. And if you notice, this dragonfly is much smaller. That's called perspective because it shows that this dragonfly is further away. All right, so get your paper, and we'll draw the largest one up towards the corner. And what you're going to do first is make a head, okay? then draw a oval shaped body, and then another segment that's pointed, long tail. Now I'm drawing very dark, you want to draw light, then that way you can erase if there's marks that you don't want. Then when you make their wings, they're almost like footballs, but they're rounded on one side, or like a teardrop or a leaf. So the smaller end is closer to the body. So it's like some loops, okay? If you make your wings down here, it won't look quite as right. So you wanna make it up towards the top part. So we're just gonna draw four wings. And there's the first one. Then let's go down here and draw the next big one. Now this one I'm gonna have going a different direction for variety. Variety is a good thing to have in your pictures. So draw the head, the long section again, and then the skinny tail. All right, and then again, you're just gonna draw the same type of ovalish pointed wings. Dragonflies are great because they eat a lot of mosquitoes. And where I live, there are a ton of mosquitoes. Okay, and then the one far away, I will put up here. So make, make sure you make the one far away small and it'll add depth to your painting. So again, draw four wings. And if I'm going too fast, just pause the video. Great. Now, if you aren't going to outline this in marker, I would suggest erasing so that you can just barely see your lines. All right, now we're gonna paint. So I'm gonna move this one. And I'm gonna show you a technique called wet on wet. Okay, so you take some water. And a good idea before you start with your paints, if you have a spray bottle like this, is get it started. Spray the paints. So that just starts mixing the paint and the water together. Okay. 
I'm going to paint this one with some yellow. Now if you want the color darker, use less water. If you want it lighter, use more water. Okay, now I have that beautiful yellow. I'm going to take a different color, um, maybe this green, and I'm just going to put a drop. See how it spreads? And it will only spread where the paint is wet. It won't spread into the dry paper if you have a thicker paper. So you want to use a thicker paper. If you use typing paper, you don't want to use as much water or copy paper. So again, on this, I'm going to drop in some green, maybe a little bit more. That just looks really cool. Now the body, you can make brown or black. Um, if you want to invest the, in another paint set, they have these little paint sets. This is, I think, by Prisma, um, the classics. And this is a portable paint set. And I'm just gonna use this black because it's a little bit darker than the one in this set. So you just paint in the body. Now if your wet black paint touches your wet yellow paint, guess what's gonna happen? It's gonna mix together. Now if that happens, you just grab a tissue Blot it, soak it up, and then you can paint on top of it. Okay, and the one in the back, I'm going to make purple. Dragonflies are found all over the world, and I've seen them in many different colors. I've seen them red, green, blue, yellow. And they're just really a cool insect. Some are huge and some are little. I haven't seen any out yet. I think they have a very short lifespan. Okay, so this one I'm making orange. So fun. This is a fun activity. If you have someone at home, an uncle or mom or dad or brother or sister, why don't you ask them if they want to paint? Go grab some paint. It's very relaxing, especially if you're kind of sad or you've had a bad day. It's nice to just sit down and paint. Okay, now I'm just gonna make keep this simple. I'm gonna add some grass. See with the point, you can really get a nice point with a brush that's not flat across the top. I'm gonna start the grass at the bottom and pull it up. Okay, now if you look at this one, there's something very light that has tied it all together. And this is also very fun to do and I showed you in a different video. What you do is you get some color, you take your brush and you tap, 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 tap. And you don't know where the splatters are going to go, but that's kind of the cool thing. So take some of those colors that are in your dragonfly and just put a few dots in there. It's kind of small, so I'm not even sure if you can really see this, but try it. It's really cool. And there you have it. A very colorful dragonfly picture. I hope you had fun. If you did, please subscribe to my page so that you get um, updates whenever I have a new video. Goodbye.